Five-year-old Baraka loves to dance, but the little boy smile as he moves to the music hides a terrible pain. I was terrified. That is why I started to cry. An albino from Tanzania, Baraka was attacked by armed men. In some parts of the country, witch doctors use albino body parts to make potions because they believe them to be good luck. Although the government banned witch doctors last year, the attacks on children with albinism have continued, and the United Nations says the number of attacks has risen this year. They cut off my hand. The others, none of them were hacked. My mom, they hit her in the head, and they came to me with machetes. Thousands of miles away in New York, Elisa Montanti of the Global Medical Relief Fund charity heard about Baraka's story and felt compelled to take action. I just knew that I had to get to him and, um, and offer whatever we can, whatever kind of help we could, to this boy. It's not too bad. The Global Medical Relief Fund helps children from crisis zones around the world to get prosthetic limbs in the United States. The charity brought Baraka and four other mutilated Tanzanian albino children to New York this summer to be fitted with prosthetic limbs. 17-year-old Kabula Karango's right arm was hacked off by attackers. I feel bad because I still don't know what they did with my arm, where it is, what benefits they derived from it. The children's new limbs will be fitted at Philadelphia Shriners Hospital for children in September. They're not getting their arm back, but what they are getting is something that's going to help them lead a productive life and to be part of society and not be looked upon that, you know, they're a freak or there's, you know, they're not whole. <laughs> After the children are fitted with their new limbs, they'll return to Tanzania to a safe house run by the Under the Same Sun charity. Leslie Marungu, CCTV.